Let's proceed and now let's talk about creation and uh, removal of uh, directories and files. And let's do that in home folder. For that let's cd and notice that here command prompt was changed to tilde and let's clear terminal. And first let's create a new folder here and before doing that let's list files and folders now and there are no files and folders at the moment in home directory for this root user. Alright, let's create new folder called test. And for that you could use command mkdir and here as argument supply name of the folder you want to create. Press enter and now there is single folder test. Great. Let me show you how you could create a subfolder. Let's type mkdir test and here type test1. And if I'll cd to test and list files and folders here, I'll see test1 subdirectory in the test directory. All right. Let's go one level up, cd to dots, and let's create following folder, mkdir test2 slash test3. Notice that I want to create test3 folder inside of the test2 folder. Let's press enter and see what will happen and I see error, cannot create directory, test2 slash test3, no such file or directory. And if you want to create a subdirectory in the directory that is currently absent, there is no test2 directory here. Let me type ls. There is only test folder. And uh, if you want to do so, you need to use additional option in mkdir command dash p that will create parent directories as well. Let's do that. mkdir. You could always go back to previous commands by pressing up arrow. And here let's add option dash p. And now test to folder was created successfully. ls, here it is. And let's ls test2. And I see test3 folder inside of the test2 folder. That's how you could create directories and subdirectories. All right, let's now remove those all directories. And let's first remove test directory, rm test. And I see error, cannot remove test is a directory. And it means that with rm command you could safely remove a single file or multiple files using space between them. But you are not able to remove directory. For that you need to use additional option dash r recursive. Let's clear terminal and use rm dash r and here type name of the folder and press enter and now test folder is no longer present here. Let's now do the same with test2 folder. Please recap that it contains additional subfolder. Let's rm -r test2. And this test2 folder was removed as well. Let's list files and folders and now it is absent. Alright, let's now create uh, again test folder mkdir test. Let's cd to this test folder and let's create new file. If you want to create new file, you could use different approaches. If you want to create empty file, you could use touch command. Simply type touch and here as argument supply file name. And let's create file called file1.txt. Press enter and now this file was created. But of course at the moment this file is empty. If you want to create file with some contents, you could use a following command. Echo. Let's say hello world. And here use greater than sign that will create new file and write contents to it. And here will be file name, file2.txt. Please remember from previous sections that this operator actually redirects std out from the previous command, this one, to specific file, in this case file2.txt. Let's press enter. And if I have a look at files and folders here now, I'll see file2.txt on the list. And you could use a cut command in order to read contents of a specific file. Let's first read contents of file1.txt. And now this file is empty. Because I have simply created it using touch command here. Let's have a look at contents of file2.txt. And now this file contains text hello world. And that's because of this command. We have sent std out data stream from this command to specific file, file2.txt. All right, let's now go back uh, one level up to home directory and now we have here single directory test. Let's now try to remove this directory using rm-r command. And here will be name of the directory, test. And this directory was removed. 
let's have a look at the contents of the home directory now and now it is empty. That means that using dash r option in rm command you could remove not just directories, you could remove also subdirectories and all files located inside. That's all for this lecture and next let me explain you how to edit files. I'll see you next. Bye bye.